We are now going to the next stage, which is the cornrow stage. And as you can see, I've already started some work here, where from the edge of the back, you divide the hair in a few rows and you start cornrowing from the edge of the back, that's how we do. You can start from whichever side you want to and cornrow the first row round and I'm just coming down to finishing the second row. As I'm now getting into the third row, as you can see, it's going the head. As we get to the edge of the third row, I'm now going into what we call the zigzag, where instead of carrying on in a spiral, like I've done in the first two rows, I now come to the third row and do a zigzag. I come back, make a straight line, take a piece of a hair in a straight line, on walking the Congo. And then I now come to another line and I take a section of hair in a straight line. the hair from there and then we we'll carry on in a zigzag. The rest of the hair will be finished in a zigzag. We can actually cut. Finish off. We are now finishing the palm row section and as you can see the hair has been palm rowed in a spiral the first few rows and the second row goes round, and then the next row goes in a zigzag. And that's the way it looks like. And the finish at the front with a piece of the hair sticking out. So the next thing we're going to do now is to sew this edge of hair onto the bits of cornrow that we've done. Some people prefer to use carved needles, but I prefer the straight ones, so whichever needle you like, you can, you can make use of. And then we sew this piece of hair that has been finished onto an edge of the comb row, like this. Finish with a knot. 